So we're here with Johnny. Now Johnny didn't want to interview himself about his firefight strike force. So Rob is standing in, off camera. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> uh, and what firefight strike force have you chosen? So I have done a thousand points of plague. I decided to try and do something a little different and go for all um, infantry, as it were, um, no vehicles or anything like that. And it's a very combat heavy uh, army as well. The only ranged attacks it's got is the Plague Bursters, which are just range nine. So uh, it's definitely about getting them up the board as quickly as possible and into combat. Um, so I've not yet played a game with them. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I just fancied something, something a little different. It's quite an elite force. I mean, was it so you could get them painted up quickly or was it because you like the idea of the leapers kind of charging ahead and that sort of stuff? A bit of both really, yeah. Um, it was definitely an, an, an element of what can I paint quickly. Um, but also I, I just really like the, the leapers. The new leaper models are really nice. So it's like, well, seems they're a troop choice. Let's see how many I can, I can get in. So I'm running four uh, units of three. So there's, uh, there's 12 all together. Um, and then two units of plague bursters, uh, two corruptions because why not? Yeah. Um, my plague lord and the the aberration. And I guess the plague bursters are mainly so you've got lots of heavy metal miniatures to pound your enemy with if it yeah. goes wrong. If if it goes wrong, I get to throw them at people instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what's the sort of colour scheme you've gone for? What were you thinking about when you were kind of painting? Um, so so they kind of look like I've just painted an army of minions, um, which wasn't my initial <laughs> thought, um, but I but I like it. Um, yeah, I thought it yellow rather than rather than going more fleshy or or something like that. So um, I wanted them to be quite dark and dingy, so I sprayed them black first, um, so that all the recesses are, are very dark, and then sprayed just over the top with a barbarian flesh um, spray to bring out the highlights in the top areas before I put the uh, base coats on, and then I base coated with different yellows and sort of fleshy tones. Um, working my way sort of from the from the feet up to the head, getting more yellow, more more brighter as as we go, and then just highlighting a few like the boils and things on the plague bursters with some really bright luminous sort of greens. Yeah, the bright green boils are really, I've got to say, nice. Obviously, they're not nice; they're pretty really gross. <laughs> but actually, they they're really eye catching and gives it something a bit of a yeah, unique feel. W without them, it would just be sort of one block of yellow colour. So it just needed something just to make them pop a little and stand out more. The bases are good as well, so what have you done with the bases? Made so the part? bases is a mix from uh, Geek Gaming, from Luke APS. It's just a, um, I can't remember the name, but it's like a, a, an asphalt sort of look to it. So I wanted uh, more of like an urban feel, like they'd just taken over a yeah a city, like maybe a, a dead zone or something. Um, hence the uh, the corruption has the uh, the stop sign in his hand. Um, that's the, the stop sign from the, the street scatter set that we do. Um, so yeah, um, and a few tufts as well, just to just to bring a bit more detail to the to the bases. And uh, have you got a favourite model that you've painted? So I really like the Plague Lord. Um, I think it's just a really nice sculpt, and, uh, and it was a lot of fun to paint. Um, but the same with the Leapers as well. Like they're all, all fairly similar models mm. in in design. Um, so it's difficult to have sort of a favourite between one or the other. But yeah, the the, uh, the Plague Lord and the Leapers were a lot of fun. I really like the corruption taking his dog for a walk. Yeah, so because uh, I had two corruptions, um, I, th I thought, well, I, I want them to look a little different. So I've taken the sword out of his hand and I was like, well, what do I replace it with? And I, I had plague dogs to hand. So I thought, well, it'd be, it'd be fun to fill the base out with something. So I gave the plague lord and then realised that I could put a, a chain around his neck and into his, his what was his sword hand. Um, just something a little different. Yeah, that's really good. And are you looking forward to getting a game with them in Firefight? When do you expect to have your first game? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, I've not actually played Firefight yet, but I'm really keen and excited. And uh, hopefully in the next week or two, we'll, we'll get some battle reports down and uh, learn the rules and see how they go. Well, thank you very much, Johnny. Thank no you for being interviewed by me instead of interviewing <laughs> yourself. Uh, and we'll be back again with another one of these soon, I guess. Yep. Yeah.